Now we are seeing the new pump price by <clears throat> the NMPC. What's, what's your reaction as regards all of this? You know, basically, he made that statement as a confirmation of his position when he was campaigning. In fact, all the major presidential candidates towards the last general elections insinuated and declared they were going to do away with fuel subsidy. So what he said is that it is gone. Mm -hmm. You find politicians going back on their promises, which would have been like, oh, he only said it just to attract votes. So, but then he also should have realized that where the words of a king <coughs> are, you find authority. So that statement to him was just reaffirming an intention, which was interpreted in the national community as yes, this is what we've been waiting for because actually there is no provision for full subsidy beyond June 2023 coming from the tenure of former president Muhammadu Buhari. And some are in the school of thought that okay, you should have waited till the end. There is no time you deal with this subsidy issue that there won't be complaints, and that is a reflection of what we call change management uh, chain in, uh, in, in public relations. You have three basic steps. You find the shock that leads to anger. Then before you find acceptance or rejection. You see, so if it is properly managed, of course the symptoms will come up. Inflation across board and things like that. But if sustained, when the stakeholders engagement put us on the path of actually doing away with this fuel subsidy, what happens is that the market forces will try to stabilize that uh, uh, economic environment. For instance, supply and demand. In fact, I've noticed that negotiations are not speeding as much as they used to speed in <laughs> <laughs> within these two past days mm -hmm. because you need to conserve your fuel. fuel. So.